So like my fear here, hi Pippin, is that as soon as I start whatever this final section is, so my fear here is that as soon as I start this final section, I will no longer be able to like save my progress, and in other words, I have to do it all in one go, which I'm not sure if I have the time for that today, but I don't know, we'll find out. I'm supposed to go to the post office and do chores and errands, but let's play some Mega Man Rock and Roll. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is Mega Man Rock and Roll. It's a fantastic fan-made game. And we're about to enter Dr. Wily's castle. I don't know, it might not be Dr. Wily, but like, it usually is. And there's a map of the world on this screen, and it seems Dr. Light has located most of the Death Star. So let's go, we're both going in. Dr. Wily's castle, by the way, that was like a children's program from the 90s that I watched. In the 90s, when I was a child. Ooh, look at this, there's like a teamwork section. Can I shoot him? No, I can't. That's good to know. Like, I didn't want to, but I had to find out for research purposes. So, let's go into this section with some very loud alarms. Uh, I don't want to get hurt by that. Can I snowball this button? I'm trying to hit the button down there. Well, like, hold on, maybe this doesn't hurt me? Oh, it makes like a- I see now, okay. Here's a tutorial section of the level that I appreciate before it, um, totally kicks my butt. But yeah, every time you go through one of these lasers, it makes a real laser appear. So, don't die. You see what's about to happen here. Oh, and I can get some weapon energy back, which is great because I tried to use very many snowballs. Yeah, you don't want to go that way. But also it seems like if I land on the platform with that spinny guy, the alarms go off and like, is that a big deal? Yes, very much because these very easy to defeat enemies will start spawning in. Should I get that energy down there? Okay. I wonder if I could have done anything about those lasers. Oops, I didn't mean to, uh... I'm like, I keep accidentally hitting my, uh, joystick. To open up the weapon switch menu. Oh boy, it's like super sensitive right now. I see. Okay, so I don't want to shoot these enemies. I, I basically want to not disturb them at all. Because when I disturb them, the alarm goes off. Ooh, the door is closing behind me. Is this about to be Mega Man's turn? <gasps> I love this. Let's go. And Mega Man gets the same tutorial here. Oh, well, it's a little different here. Because hitting the lasers... ...activates a different trap. Or set of traps, I guess I should say. You think I can bust open this? Yeah, with a charge shot. If I could, like, teleport through here. Then I could, uh, I could get through that little section without setting off the alarm. But, uh, there's no way to do that, probably. Oh my gosh, this looks... this looks difficult. I messed it up first try. But I wasn't done messing it up, apparently. Okay, let's try this again. Can you make this jump? Uh, maybe I could have, like, rush coiled through there, or rush jetted through there. But did you see me not get hit by those enemies in that tight space? Like, is there something I can do about this to get through without setting off the alarms? Are 
Alright, let's try this again. How do I do this, though? I fell into the same spikes, everybody! Okay, let's go. This time, it's gonna be not quite as hard. And now I'm a little bit on tilt, so I'm taking some damage that I don't need to take. That'll come back to haunt me. Ooh, I couldn't shoot. I couldn't shoot! Because my bullet was still on screen. I thought I'd be able to mash. Alright, it's a little bit hard to see where the edge of the platforms are. Oh my gosh, I am taking so much damage. That's okay, I'll get a health pickup around here. This is worth getting. Probably. I should have known that this was gonna box me in. I could possibly use some powers to kill this thing. Not that one. Bubble, you've never failed me. And by the way, last last time I played this game, like as soon as I got into editing the video, I realized, wait a second, I can probably float in water if I use the bubble ability. Do I have rush jet or just rush coil? All right, I'm gonna get this energy. Um, what's my rush button here? Hell. It's X. Okay. X. When I say X, I mean X like where it would be on the Super Nintendo controller and not on a PlayStation controller or Xbox. Almost died, but I didn't. All right, Mega Man, let's go. Ooh. Dang it, and it didn't recover my health with roll. That was... scary. Uh, I feel like I could have dodged that a little bit better. Yo, he destroyed a platform. Uh, you know what I should do, though? Let's do this now that Roll has one health left. I got my brother killed! Do we both recover here? I'm glad that I can tag team in the middle of this battle, though. That's a really cool feature. Can Roll get up to this platform in one jump? Yes, she can. Man, he hated that I had that platform. Let's use something like this. On. Does this replenish the platforms? It does! Okay. That's cool to know. Oh no, now I have to use the right side. Now I gotta be Mr. Right Side like that killer song. Dang it. I got destroyed there! Holy cow. I can't hit the button again? That was it. I used all my button privileges, everyone. It's back! Let's go! Okay, that was good. That was a good round there. One more hit. Boom! 
that was a really cool boss and a lot of fun and also difficult. And I'm proud of myself. And you! For doing your life so good. You're great. That's the end of the game, obviously. That's the whole thing. That, that can't be it, right? Hey, we destroyed the thingy a little bit. My controller is vibrating so hard right now. What? We made it stronger somehow? Oh, of course. I knew it was Dr. Cossack. Yo, wait. This is like my favorite part of every Mega Man game. Our allies have appeared. Just in time to leave with us. What are they doing? And it looks like it says, ah, going down the front of this castle entrance. Oh, I can save. I love this. Let's save over file uh, five. Clearly the best file to save over. And let's go to main entrance. We can go to rooftop entrance power supply or Main Entrance Robot Factory. So is this where I choose, like, what path to take? Uh, I mean, obviously it is. What I'm wondering is, like, if I choose to do Mega Man's path, do I go back to Roll's path after this level? Or am I choosing one character for the remainder of the game? Because that's kind of how it was in Mega Man 2.5D. Ah, I just took a shot to the head there. <gasps> fish. Of course, Dr. Wily would have robot fish. He loves aquatic life! I don't, I don't know why I almost jumped into that. That one I know why I got hit by. Now, obviously, what I did there was I got hit on purpose so that I would die and refill my lives after I continue. Because I didn't want to do the rest of this stage with one life. Or zero lives, I should say. It always confused me that there's like a difference in, in so many games between having one life left, um, or I, I guess rather I should say, some games, if you have, if it shows that you have one life left, that's it. You die, you get a game over. But some games it's like, oh, if you, if you have zero lives left, it's your game over. You know what I mean? Like in Mega Man, if you have zero lives left, that means you're on your last life. But for some games, if it says the one. I almost didn't make that jump. Take that, tadpole thingies. Honestly, some of the enemies in this game are just adorable. Yo, that guy jumps so high in relation to the rest of his body. I'm recording. Love you, where you going? Who the hell was that? That was Molly M. There's nothing in this room? Even if there were a mini boss in that room, I would leave. Yo, that got. <gasps> it was like a little hard hat generator. I don't know why I waited for it to generate more. This is the robot factory, by the way. What? This hard hat has a shield that I have to knock back with my power shot. With my charged beam. I'm like, obviously I need to get grabbed by one of these to go up this ladder. Great, excellent room design. I probably want this. Um, how do I unlock that? Is it with one of my powers? Get him, Beatles. Maybe 
Maybe I have to like, I, I feel like the lock there is an indication that there's something that I have to press. Like there's a button I gotta do. What about my laser? No? It'll come to me as soon as I start editing this video. I'll be like, oh wait, it was an obvious thing. I almost died there, I think. I, you know, it's unclear whether I could have gone down that, uh, that other pitfall. So maybe I missed a hidden path. My friend, Bee Woman, was like, hey, uh... Don't fall down there, and she stuck me to the wall with honey like it's Donkey Kong Country 2. What? This is awesome. Is she gonna help me in the next room, too? Holy cow. She gonna be so helpful right now. Ooh, uh... I guess I don't quite know how to control... this character. I see. I thought she could carry me up. Maybe Mega Man is too heavy for that. For just one B. I didn't mean to shoot her. Okay, I was wondering if she had a hitbox too. I could get that one up, but I don't know if it's worth trying. This is so cool though. Do I need roll to unlock this? Oh man, my B friend, that's short for best friend, is gonna break this um, battery lock thing so that I can get through here. Yes, that was so good. Okay, so I'm guessing now that lock for the one up, that's something that like I could have done, I could have activated in roll segment. I want this new tank, and I'm not gonna let it fall. That was worth doing. I should have used it immediately. Ready to rock. I'm glad that I can just swim in this pile of hard hats. That's really cute. I didn't mention it at first. It sort of slows you down like, um, uh, like the snow would in Mega Man 4 in the Cossack stages. And I love that a hard hat jumps out to try to shoot you in the back. I saw that guy, too. Well, I didn't see that guy. This is a ton of fun. It's also really intense and difficult. These things aren't gonna crush me, are they? Oh, that one is. I tried to slide there. I might have been too early with it. Well, you die and you learn. It's crazy how often I say something like, Oh yeah, this'll be easy, nothing's gonna happen here, and then the thing happens. Ah, I'm trying to mash the button and I accidentally hit the uh, joystick. I wonder if there's a way to disable that. Like, I appreciate that there's a quick way to access your powers, but I keep accidentally hitting it. Okay, so how do I not get got? I figured if I just ran forward... I'd be able to, uh... I don't know, not get squashed. Let, let me get back there. Okay, so like, literally, what do I do up here? It's one more room ahead. But what do I do with the crushy thingies? Okay, so I thought that I had to, like, activate them... ...by getting close to them first. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, so I was supposed to just slide there. That's what I thought I was trying at first. But I wasn't timing it right, I guess. Of course that guy shot me. Oh, I have to jump from this platform is what it seems like. Okay, okay, okay. Anything down here? Ooh, there was something down there. What was it? An extra life, probably? I might even use an E-Tank at some point during the stage. Gosh dang it. As a matter of fact, let's use one here. I hope this isn't like a huge waste and I just get like immediately crushed. Okay. I hope that's the last of it. Yo, that hard hat guy had a fez, which I love. And of course I got shot by one last hard hat as I'm crawling into the boss door. Ooh boy. What is this crazy thing? It's like a crane game. Look, like, this thing better be gangbusters in this particular boss fight. I'm um, trying not to get crushed here. It's not doing a ton of damage. Let's use the missiles. Ooh. Man, it's so 3D in here. Did that do, like, a lot of damage? I can't even really tell. Ooh. No, not really. Get him, beetles. This doesn't seem to be a great idea either. That's okay, I got uh, a couple of lives to spare here. Oh, I didn't get on that platform. Look. In like every Game Boy Mega Man game, I spent so much time trying to figure out what powers the bosses were weak to. And every time I tried to do that, it either got me killed or almost got me killed. And then I was like, let's just use the regular buster. Also known as a scrub. And then it turned out to be like relatively easy after that. Missed a couple times. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit by every little enemy. And then I I got grabby clawed. How many lives do I have? I got one, which means I have an extra chance after this. The timing on the shots is actually a little bit difficult. Well, I might be using some E-Tanks this time. But I think I can do it. As long as you believe in me and I play well. That was a bad start. I'm trying to hit the enemies. It's important to shoot the metal as he like bounces off of the platform. Or before he lands anyway. My gosh, I could be hitting him. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I hit him a couple times. Let's uh let's use an E-tank. I don't mean to be mashing these buttons by accident, but I keep doing that. And I should stop being that far to the side before I get grabbed by that dude. An alarm on my phone! What are the chances? 
I keep jumping over it, too. Very fun concept for a boss, I gotta say. Gosh, I'm getting destroyed. Okay, so I don't have to jump there, I can just stand. I might die here if I don't do this. Yeah, so I got crunched. Alright, I'm chipping away! Wait, what hit me there? Oh, I can't- I can't be in the ground at all. I can't be on the floor at all and expect to dodge that guy's, uh, grabbiness. Oh my gosh! I was nervous there. But we beat a boss? We beat a boss in Dr. Wily's castle, which does sound like a kid's program, am I right? Do I not get to save the game here? Please tell me I do. Oh, I do, okay, that's great. That's fantastic. Okay, let's save over file six this time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fill up every save file and we'll get back to this I might play some uh, later this week, but thank you so much, everybody, for watching me play a little bit of Mega Man Rock and Roll. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. Okay, and I'm glad it gives me this warning. So when I go to the, uh, the exit menu here, there's an abort castle option, which says, leaving the castle will cancel all of your end game progress. But I can save my progress during the end game castle sequence, so that's very cool. And a big old thank you to April's Patreon patrons, Mems, and other donors. Oh my gosh, everyone's been so generous that I'm like running out of room to put names of donors on this page thingy. So thank you so much. That's a great problem to have.